Hello friends, today in this video we will be discussing about the file command and what all operations that can be performed using the file command. So I request everyone to watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any of the steps that we will cover in this video. So without any further delay, let's start our discussion for the day. The file package contains actions that enable us to automate various file operations such as copying, creating, deleting and re renaming a file. We can use these actions either individually one at a time or we can use these actions inside a loop available for that action for each file in a folder. So now we will be discussing each of the commands in great detail. Now we will be discussing the various subcommands that are present under the file package. So first of all we will discuss about the assign command. Assign command basically assigns the user specified file value or the value of the source file variable to the destination file variable. So now we will see the functionality of the assign command. Drag and drop this command and select the desktop file tab and then browse the file from the folder location where your file is present. After selecting the file, click on open. Assign the input to the variable of type file. So we will so we will create a variable of type file then click on create and select and then click on save so this is how we can use the file assign command the next command that we will discuss is the copy file command Copy file command basically copies a file from one location to another location. So now we will see the functionality of copy file command. So we will use the loop command first to loop through each file in a folder. So drag and drop the loop command and select for each file in folder iterator and give the folder path So this is the location where my source files are present. Create a dictionary variable for file name. So I am creating as v file name. Click on create and select and then click on save. Now we will drag and drop the copy command and give the source file and here we will pass in the dictionary variable that we have created that is v file name and in this we will pass the dictionary key as name and click on yes insert and now we will again use the dictionary variable for the extension pass in the dictionary key as extension and give the destination file or folder where you want your source files to move. So my destination folder or the destination path where I will copy the files is this. Click on save. If you want to override the existing files, so check the 
overwrite existing files chatbots otherwise leave it as it is now we will run the program so the program has now run successfully so now we will go to the destination folder to check whether the files has been copied from the source folder or not so click on the destination folder as you can see the files have been copied from the source folder to the destination folder so this is how we can use the copy file command the next command that we will discuss is the create file command create file command basically creates a file at a particular location that we enter so now we will see the functionality of create file command so drag and drop the create file command give the folder location where you want to create the file suppose i am creating the file as test.xlsx at the destination folder after giving the path click on save now we will run the program and see whether the file is being created or not at that particular location the program has now run successfully now we will go to the destination folder to check whether the file has been created or not so as we can see that the file has been created at the desired location so this is how we can use the create file command next command that we will see is how to use the delete file command delete file command basically deletes a file from the folder so in this example we will see how to delete multiple files from the folder so for that first of all we will drag and drop the loop command and select for each file in folder as the iterator since this will loop through all the files which are present in that folder location or the folder path in the folder path field given the folder location and assign the file name and the extension to a dictionary variable which we have already created after doing this click on save and drag and drop the delete command and again give the folder location and use the dictionary variable that is v file name and in the dictionary key for file name we will use name as the dictionary key and for extension we will use the ext we will use the dictionary key as the extension so in dictionary key field pass in extension and then click on yes insert and then click on save now we will run the program the program has now run successfully now we will go to the folder and check whether the files have been deleted or not so go to the destination folder and as we can see all the files which were present in the destination folder has been deleted so this is how we can use the delete command the next command that we will discuss is how to download a file which is present in the control room so basically download control room file downloads a control room file to a specific location we cannot download a bot file from the control room so first of all we will see how to upload a file in the control room so for that go to bots my bots and click on upload file a new window will appear where you will be asked to add the file so click on add file and select the file which you want to add and then click on upload after selecting the file so the file has been now uploaded so now we will see how to download a file from the control room drag and drop the download control room file command and select the file from the control room so click on browse button and select if and select the file which we just uploaded and click on confirm and give the location where you want to save the control room file so i am giving as the destination folder 
and you can set the overwrite existing file option to false or true depending upon your depending upon your requirement so after that click on save now we will run the bot the program has now run successfully so now we will go to the destination folder and check whether the file has been downloaded or not so click on the destination folder location and as you can see the file has been downloaded from the control room the next command that we will discuss is the open file command this command is basically used to open the file from a particular location so now we will see the functionality of open command so drag and drop the open file command and select the file from the particular location so click on browse button and select the file after selecting the file click on open button and then click on save now we will run the bot the bot has run successfully so as you can see the functionality of this bot was to open the file and the bot has opened the file so this is how we can use the open file command the next command that we will discuss is how to rename a file rename file command is basically used to rename a file so now we will see the functionality of this command so drag and drop this command and select the file from the location which you want to rename so suppose i want to rename this file and the new file name that i want to pass is suppose append after giving the new file name click on save so now we will run the bot the bot has run successfully and now we will go to the folder and check whether the file has been renamed or not as you can see the file has been renamed so this is how we can use the rename file command so in today's video we discussed how we can perform various file operations if you like my video then do please watch like and subscribe to my youtube channel as i will be bringing in more interesting topics so that you don't miss out on any of the topic that i will bring to you so till then have a great day and stay safe and healthy